Hello, everyone. I am Zhao Chuan. Let's draw the fallen bones of the beluga whale today. The forelimbs of beluga whales look like fins but are not actually fins because there are bones inside. So it would be more accurate to call them flippers. When drawing, we should pay attention to the relationship between its bones and skin. First, let's draw its shoulder blade. When drawing, we should pay attention to its shape, which is a bit complicated. Next, let's draw its humerus, the bone that constitutes its upper arms. Then, let's draw the ulna and the radius that make up its forearms. After that, let's draw a collection of very flat carpal bones that are basically round. Further down, let's draw the metacarpal. Let's first draw the thumb, which has three bones. The index finger has five bones, the further down, the smaller. The middle finger is the longest among all five fingers and consists of five bones. Now, let's draw the fourth finger, which has three bones. Lastly, let's draw the little finger, which has four bones. When the beluga whale is alive, its humerus is completely wrapped in the skin of the body, so its flippers start at the elbow rather than the upper arm. Now, let's draw the contour of its flipper as well as its partial trunk. In this way, the fallen bones of the beluga whale have been finished.